so now as the block see we need to add this to our path or we can do this by adding it explicitly in a .cnrc file but I'll get into this later let me first get the CUDA toolkit installed I hope you have downloaded the CUDA toolkit from the net as per your system configuration I have downloaded mine and let's try to install CUDA toolkit first so simple just double click it and provided by NVIDIA corporation you can trust it obviously <laughs> and use yes and it will ask a path to extract it just let the default settings be just give ok and it will extract it and then install it so it may take some time so you need to be patient with this so it extracted after it ex extracted around 100 percent that will start installation and hope okay so after it extracted 100% you need not do anything it will start by itself okay so you can see here okay so it's checking system compatibility and nvidia cuda 7.5 which we downloaded and you need not do anything let it do it for itself okay so the second step you have to just agree and continue and ex install all CUDA components and over XRMC driver or you just go with the recommended settings give next okay so it will install for itself GPU technology conference let's go the world's biggest GPU developer conference Click here if you want to learn more, but now I'm not interested. I want to get this thing installed and get it working. So it's preparing, it may take some time, and you need to be patient again. Okay, so I'll pause a video because it will take a lot of time. And previously, also I paused the video when I was extracting. So once it got completed, you need not do anything, just let it happen itself from the extraction process to the end. Okay, so let me pause it and I'll get back. So for me, uh, after it completed installation by itself, I got a screen screen like this and you see it says NVIDIA installer failed so you see many of the things were not installed like 3D vision control driver, HD audio driver but you see the good news for us is CUDA toolkit 7.5 was installed and CUDA sample 7.5 were installed so I am being positive on this and I am going for next and hope this our requirement CUDA toolkit this work first so let me close this and it has finished I guess the installation and you can okay so let me get there and let me get back to this okay so we have installed visual studio we have installed CUDA toolkit and now we need to configure this we have set up python already and we have installed Ciano and now uh, one thing you should know is about dot Ciano rc file uh, Actually, with this file, you can change the configuration of Ciano. You can make it a GPU or CPU anytime you need it. And this, this you need to put it in your .ciano RC file. Until you can see here, uh, yeah, you just go to the first installing Ciano documentation. There you will see that here, yeah, using the GPU. So in this case, they would be mentioning that you need a CUDA driver, you need a CUDA toolkit, and you can add all this thing in your environment variable. Okay. You, okay. So um, you can set up all this new environment variable 
in your system environment path or you can read this but the simplest way which i find i found actually is to create a dot theano rc text file and keep all the required configuration for your theano in that file and you can change it wherever you like so how to create a dot theano rc file now you should follow it very carefully the first step you install visual studio no need to do anything install cura toolkit as i showed you no need to do anything and for the configuration part what you do the simplest way just create a dot theano rc text file for this let me delete it and show you from beginning okay so mm, let me keep it here so that it don't disturb me click right click new and a text document okay so you go create a text document and you name it as dot okay what was that <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay it's dot theano rc so you just rename it okay it is dot theano rc okay you create this file and you need to copy this content here okay so these are the settings the global settings as of what it will be using uh, in this case we'll be using we are trying to use devices gpu and uh, we have the data type which we'll be preferring float 32 and this is the cuda path the root path and this you can check in your program files and media preparation this path i'll provide this in the video below this thing and this is your compiler for cuda the compile binder is this is in this path don't need to do anything just copy paste this thing so just control a control c and i will copy paste in my dot theano rc file and i'll paste it here control s it okay now once you have created your dot theano rc file where do you need to place it you need to place it in your home directory where you're working and where your anaconda is installed to check that just go to your anaconda prompt and you can see my home directory is c users ripple where my anaconda 2 environment is present so very simple i'll go to my system i'll go to c i'll go to users i'll go to ripple and i'll see here is my anaconda file so in this directory you need to place your dot theano rc file which i have already placed it here so you very carefully copy it in your home directory be very careful about this okay once you have placed it here it means you have configured it here now by just by changing this gpu to cpu you can make your keras or your theano or your cnn architecture working on theano and keras to run on gpu or run on cpu just by changing this so it's very flexible and very simple that's why i'm using theano you know so for now i'll close this and now i have configured my system now how shall i check it that my system is working on my gpu so you just go there okay you can check it in prompt itself you know so i'm in anaconda 2 environment let me get into my python here click python and enter okay so now when we import theano if it's running on cpu it won't show anything but if it's running on gpu it should show that it's running on gpu it's using the gpu so let me import theano and let's hope i have done everything right and it should come as using gpu let's hope for that and it's okay wow congratulations we have done it wow so it is using gpu device zero actually if you are using more than one gpu device then they will have id also one two three and all that and as i showed you earlier my gpu is quadro k4 200 and this thing is disabled but we don't care about it now uh, the good news is we are we have successfully configured our gpu and you can check it here one more way is you go to installing theano page okay this page yeah you remember it's very helpful you should refer it again and again and let me go yeah using the gpu and it says okay once your setup is complete head to using the gpu let me head to it and it says testing theano with gpu so i will copy this program 
here control C and let me open my spider so let me exit this Python from here and let me open my spider I hope you remember how to get and launch your spider okay I'll let my spider open and it's opening it's loading let it load I'll wait okay here it is so let me create a new file I hope you remember how to create new file and in the first video we created a project named Piano 2 so let me click here let me right click okay forget it let me click here itself let me right click here new file let me give this name as Tiano GPU test because we are testing a GPU and we should give dot py to take it as a python script and we'll save it here okay so here it is let me paste the program which I copied from the HTML file of installing Tiano now it says like it will check automatically whether my this code is running on CPU or it's running on GPU so let me run this and let's see what happened here okay I'm running it wow so it says using GPU device 0 quadro k for 200 GPU this and result is this and use the GPU and the time clock is 1.253 thousand seconds so it's quite a less time now what if I run this in CPU how much time will it take so I need to what to say I'll show you how to uh, change switch back from GPU to CPU so very simple you go to your home directory where you have kept your dot tianoRC file C users ripple and for me it's dot tianoRC and I'll just change it to CPU CPU and I'll save this configuration I'll close it and now I'll check running this code again and now on CPU and how much time it takes okay so let's see I'm here so actually you know, I changed the configuration to CPU let me run it and you see that it's still showing use the GPU and it took 1.25 seconds 1.05 0 0.97 1.00 seconds actually I think this console is configured with GPU let me create a new console here okay and it will kind of create a new and let me run it it should take the CPU thing because I have changed the configuration to CPU yeah it will take CPU okay it's taking time and we'll wait okay so here it is you see so looping thousand times took 16.93 seconds and it says use the CPU because we changed it in our dot .cyanoRC file and if you see here it's using GPU looping thousand times took 1.05 seconds and here it's 16 seconds so it's approximately my GPU is 16 times faster than my CPU so that's a huge huge speed difference and we should take advantage of this in running our complex convolution neural network architecture so this is running on uh, I mean you see actually this console was configured with GPU maybe so that's why it's taking GPU again and again so I created a new console and I run it and using CPU is this again if you want to switch it to GPU it's very simple you just go to your home directory which is this Tiano RC and go to GPU so just do this GPU to CPU CPU to GPU save it close it and now let me try this once again but now by running on a GPU okay let me run it and what it says here is okay I'm waiting okay so it's taking some time I think it will take the CPU because I think this is yeah as I expected still taking the CPU so because maybe this console is configured for CPU since I configured it while importing this piano I can 
either uh, do one thing i can reset this entire thing so if i reset this you know if you reset this it will just reset everything so shift percentage r is t for reset command i give y and okay let me run this now it should take gpu i guess or we have to create a new console okay so i think it's taking the cpu but i'll wait for the result okay so as i expected it's using cpu so it's better you create new console for running your new i mean for running your gpu or cpu configuration and now if i run it now it should take gpu because i've configured my dot piano rc file yeah it's taking gpu using gpu device zero quadro k4 200 it's taking one second and my cpu which takes 16 seconds so i hope i am quite clear with the speed difference between cpu and gpu and so this tutorial was all about configuring your piano to run it on gpu and it was very simple you saw we just uh, follow three steps we install our visual studio we install our cuda toolkit and we set up our dot piano rc file that's all so from next video onwards we will be running we'll be continuing with your convolution neural network tutorials and now we'll be running our codes on gpu and not the cpu and we'll see by yourself how much speed up we achieve so hope uh, you get clear with this and if you have any question you can comment below and good luck Good luck exploring your system's GPU.